There's no animal tougher than an old hunting dog going down slowly to age. Come on, bud. At some point, the body just can't match the heart. Good boy, Ronald. So Rommel and I are out here, we're on our new property, and we had a couple hours this morning where we could have slept in, but I wanted to take just him out on a hunt. We passed on a few birds that were buzzing the pond. We wanted to get one that was just gonna finish. He went off his dog stand and he was on that bird. The sad thing is as you could hear him going, you could hear him kind of wheezing. Um, as dogs get older, they can get almost like scar tissue in their lungs from breathing in all the different things that they do in the field. So we've had him looked at. He's got some scar tissue. I would never upland hunt him just because it's, it, 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 it just wouldn't be healthy for him. But he uh, took a couple, of, <laughs> a couple of decoys with him over there, grabbed the bird, brought it right back. and. It's definitely, it's, it's, it's going to probably be my most memorable bird I've shot other than when I've been out with my kids. How cool is this? Rommel and pretty much his last hunt. Um, just him and I. And uh, if you come to the lodge, you'll see this bird on the wall. It's got two curls. Beautiful, beautiful bird. You know, it's, it's hard seeing dogs as they get older. And you don't want to say a special dog, because everyone's dog to them is special, but you know, for Rommel, he's incredibly special to me. I purchased him from a great family up in Minnesota. His pedigree, his charge in the field, his drive, and his demeanor have really helped us build and grow our kennel, our TV show, and now our lodge. I've got so many memorable hunts with Rommel. I mean, we're on eighth year filming. He's been part of every year. I remember taking him to Canada for his first time. We ended up shooting 56 ducks, if you can imagine that, in like two hours. Wow, did he get a workout. But, you know, watching him, how driven he was, he never missed a beat. I mean, he's that old and he never missed a beat. He was a little sore that night, but that was just a cool hunt. It was high winds, the birds worked perfect. It was a day that, you know, if your limit was 200 birds, you could have shot 200 ducks. We shot them when they were right there and cupped and finishing, and he just did a phenomenal job. Good boy. The last year's been tough. In the last year, I almost passed away, and uh, my wife and had to deal with me being very, very sick. The uh, doctors told her I had like a 20% chance to live. The dogs really helped Kate. She was at the hospital with me probably, you know, 18, 20 hours a day, having to deal with family, having to deal with doctors, the businesses. And her saving grace was coming home and she had the dogs. They would comfort her. I was unconscious for like five days. And, uh, you know, <laughs> she told me it was uh, Dixie, Lucy, and Rommel that were all in bed with her and uh, making sure she, she was okay. We ended up losing Dixie on January 4th. She uh, just got sick through the night and by the time morning came, she was gone. Lucy was act acting a little bit off. We thought maybe she had a bad tooth. Uh, a few months later, took her in and she had cancer. Those were the two that, other than Ramala, were really, really helping her get by and you just never know. They don't live long enough, and you never know when uh, they're gonna pass. It's been a great morning, and uh, just getting to spend time here with him has, uh, has been something I'll always remember. 
this could be very well be his last hunt. And if it is, what a way to go out. In life, dogs make a huge difference. And I have to say that in my life, they define me and my family.